The Carry On series primarily consists of 31 British comedy motion pictures 1958–92, four Christmas specials, a television series of 13 episodes, and three West End and Provincial stage plays. The film's humour was in the British comic tradition of the music hall and body seaside postcards. Producer Peter Rogers and director Gerald Thomas drew on a regular group of actors, the Carry On team, that included Sid James, Kenneth Williams, Charles Hawtrey, Joan Sims, Kenneth Connor, Peter Butterworth, Hattie Jacques, Terry Scott, Bernard Breswoff, Barbara Windsor, Jack Douglas, and Jim Dale. The Carry On series contains the largest number of films of any British series, and it is the longest continually running UK film series, although with a 14-year break 1978 Anglo Amalgamated Film Distributors Limited produced 12 films, 1958 to 66. The Rank Organization made 18, 1966 to 78, and United International Pictures made 1, 1992. Producer Peter Rogers and director Gerald Thomas made all 31 films, usually on time and to a strict budget, and often employed the same crew. Between 1958 and 1992, the series employed seven writers, most often Norman Hoodis (1958–62) and Talbot Rothwell (1963–74). In between the films, Rogers and Thomas produced four Christmas specials in 1969, 1970, 1972, and 1973, a 13-episode television series in 1975, and various West End stage shows which later toured the regions. All the films were made at Pinewood Studios near Ivare Heath, Buckinghamshire. Budgetary constraints meant that a large proportion of the location filming was undertaken close to the studios in and around South Buckinghamshire, including areas of Berkshire and Middlesex. However, by the late 1960s, at the height of the series' success, more ambitious plots occasionally necessitated locations further afield, which included Snowdonia National Park, Wales, with the foot of Mount Snowdon standing in for the Khyber Pass in Kerry on up the Khyber, and the beaches of the Sussex coast doubling as Saharan sand dunes in Follow That Camel. Topic. Background Carry On Sergeant 1958 was about a group of recruits doing national service, its title, the command commonly issued by army officers to their sergeants in the course of their routine duties, was in keeping with its setting. The film was sufficiently successful to inspire a similar venture, again focusing on an established and respected profession in carry on nurse. When that too was successful, further forays with carry on teacher and carry on constable established the series. This initial pattern was broken with the fifth film in 1961, Carry On Regardless, but it still followed a similar plot to that of many of the early films. A small group of misfit newcomers to a job make comic mistakes, but come together to succeed in the end. The remainder of the series developed with increased use of the British comic traditions of music hall and body seaside postcards. Many titles parodied more serious films, such as their tongue-in-cheek homages to James Bond spying, westerns cowboy, and hammer horror films screaming. 
The most impressive of these was Carry on Cleo, 1964, after the Burton and Taylor epic Cleopatra, 1963, where the budget conscious Carry on team made full use of some impressive sets which had been intended for that film. Carry on Emmanuel, inspired by the soft porn Emmanuel, brought to an end the original run. The stock in trade of carry on humor was innuendo and the sending up of British institutions and customs, such as the National Health Service, nurse, doctor, again doctor, matron and the proposed again nurse, the monarchy, Henry, the empire, up the Khyber, the armed forces, sergeant, England, Jack and the proposed flying and escaping, the police, constable, and the trade unions, at your convenience, as well as camping, camping, foreign holidays, cruising, abroad, beauty contests, girls, caravan holidays behind and the education system teacher amongst others although the films were very often panned by critics they mostly proved very popular with audiences in 2007 the pun infamy infamy they've all got it in for me Spoken by Kenneth Williams, playing Julius Caesar in Carry on Cleo, was voted the funniest one-line joke in film history. A film had appeared in 1957 under the title Carry on Admiral, although this was a comedy in similar vein and even featured Joan Sims in the cast. It has no connection to the Carry on series itself. The much earlier 1937 film Carry on London is also unrelated though it coincidentally starred future Carry on performer Eric Barker. The cast were poorly paid. Around £5,000 per film for a principal performer. In his diaries, Kenneth Williams lamented this, and criticized several of the movies despite his declared fondness for the series as a whole. Peter Rogers, the series producer, acknowledged, Kenneth was worth taking care of, because while he cost very little, he made a very great deal of money for the franchise. Topic Cast Topic Filmography Topic Carry on Films Topic Unmade films Several other films were planned, scripted, or partly scripted, or entered pre-production before being abandoned. What a carry on 1961 Carry on smoking, 1961 the story revolved around a fire station, and various attempts to train a bungling group of new recruits. Carry on Spaceman, 1961 and again in 1962. See section below. Carry on Flying, 1962. Scripted by Norman Hudis, about a group of RAF recruits. It got as far as pre-production before being abandoned. Jim Dale was to have a starring role. Carry on Robin, 1965. A planned spoof of Robin Hood starring the Carry on Regulars was outlined by Rogers and registered with the British Film Producers Association but never pursued. Carry On Again Nurse, 1967 and two other attempts. See section below. Carry On Escaping, 1973. Scripted by Talbot Rothwell, a spoof of World War II escape films. 
The complete script was included in the book The Complete A to Z of Everything Carry On. Carry On Dallas, 1980. A planned spoof of the popular U.S. series Dallas. A script was written and casting offers made to Williams, Connor, Douglas, Sims, Hotry and Dale. The production was abandoned when Lorimar Productions demanded a royalty fee of 20 times the total production budget. Carry On Down Under, 1981. Gerald Thomas did some location scouting while on holiday in Australia and spoke to the Australian Film Commission. The production was abandoned when finance fell through. A complete script was written by Vince Powell and is included in the book Fifty Years of Carry On. Topic. Carry On Spaceman Carry On Spaceman was to be released shortly after Carry On Regardless, in 1961. It was scripted by Norman Hoodis, and was to satirize interests in the space race from the Western world's point of view. The cast was to consist of three would-be astronauts who constantly bungled on their training and their mission into outer space, most likely the trio would have been played by the trinity of Kenneth Williams, Kenneth Connor, and Leslie Phillips that had been established in Carry on Constable. Attempts to revive Carry on Spaceman in 1962 under Dennis Gifford, again by Hootis, failed, and the project was subsequently abandoned. Topic. Carry on again nurse Three scripts were written for an intended sub-sequel to the successful Carry On Nurse, the second installment of the Carry On series. The first film was renamed, and the other two never made. The first intended Carry On Again Nurse was made in 1967, but released as Carry On Doctor. Carry On Nurse was alluded to twice in Carry On Doctor, firstly with the subtitles one reading Nurse Carries On Again and Death of a Daffodil, and again in a later scene with Frankie Howard commenting on a vase of daffodils in his ward. A second attempt at Carry On Again Nurse came in 1979, after the series left Rank Films and moved to Hemdale. A completed script had been written by George Layton and Jonathan Lynn in 1977. It was cancelled due to the financial loss of Carry on Emmanuel. The final attempt to create Carry on Again Nurse came in 1988, with a script written by Norman Hoodis. It was to revolve around a hospital set for closure, and set to star original actors Barbara Windsor, Jack Douglas, Kenneth Williams, Charles Hawtrey, Kenneth Connor and Joan Sims, with Sims filling in the role of matron that was previously held by Hattie Jacques. The end of the film was going to be a tribute to Jacques, with Sims turning around a photograph of the actress and asking. Well, did I do all right? The script is included in the book The Lost Carry Ons. Production was scheduled to begin in June 1988, but the deaths of Williams and Hawtrey in April and October 1988 respectively, combined with a budget of £1.5 million which was deemed too expensive, proved to be the end of the film and it was cancelled. Topic. Carry On London A new film, Carry On London, was announced in 2003 by producer Peter Rogers and producer James Black but remained in pre-production well into 2008. The script was signed off by the production company in late March 2008, and 
centered on a limousine company ferrying celebrities to an awards show. The film had several false starts, with the producers and cast changing extensively over time. Only the rather unknown Welsh actress Ginine James remained a consistent name from 2003 to 2008. Daniela Westbrook, David Jason, Sean Williamson and Burt Reynolds were also once attached to the project. In May 2006 it was announced Vinnie Jones and Shane Ritchie were to star in the film, which was to be directed by Peter Richardson, though Ed By later replaced him as the named director. At the 50th anniversary party held at Pinewood Studios in March 2008, Peter Rogers confirmed that he was planning a series of carry-on films after London, subject to the success of the first. In early 2009, Carry on London or Carry on Bananas was once again back on, with Charlie Higson attached as director, and a different more modern cast list involving Paul O'Grady as the acidic Kenneth Williams-esque character, Ginine James, Lenny Henry, Justin Lee Collins, Jennifer Ellison as the saucy Barbara Windsor type, Liza Tarbuck, Hattie Jacques, Mira Sile, James Dreyfus, and Frank Skinner filling in the Sid James role. Despite new media interest and sets being constructed at Pinewood Film Studios, the film once again was put on hold, and the project was shelved after the death of Peter Rogers in April 2009. Reboot. In May 2016, producer Jonathan Sothkit of Hereford Films announced plans for a new series of Carry On Films, beginning with Carry On Doctors and Carry On Campus. As of early 2017, no news had surfaced on if the planned reboot is still going ahead. On 12 April 2017, Sothkit confirmed to The Hollywood News that he is no longer involved with the film series. Topic. Television The characters and comedy style of the Carry On film series were adapted to a television series titled Carry On Laughing, and several Christmas specials. Topic. Stage shows Topic. Album In 1971, Music for Pleasure released a long playing record, Oh! What a Carry On! MFP Mono 1416, featuring songs performed by Kenneth Williams, Jim Dale, Kenneth Connor, Frankie Howard, Bernard Breswoff, Joan Sims, Barbara Windsor, and Dora Bryan. Topic. Documentaries A 50-minute television documentary, What's a Carry On?, was made in 1998 for the 40th anniversary of the first film. It included archive clips, outtakes and interviews with surviving cast members. It was included as an extra on the DVD release of Carry On Emmanuel. In November 2003 a TV series called Popcorn ran a carry on special documentary and interviews on S4C featuring Ginine James. This was in respect of a new carry on film being produced by Peter Rogers called Carry on London. It featured interviews and clips of the past carry on films and went into detail about the new film and cast. 
However, despite the script being signed off and sets constructed at Pinewood Film Studios, the project was shelved, owing to the untimely death of producer Peter Rogers. A two-hour radio documentary Carry On Forever, presented by Leslie Phillips, was broadcast in two parts on BBC Radio 2 in two parts on 19-20 July 2010. A three-part television retrospective with the same title, narrated by Martin Clunes, was shown on ITV3 in the UK over Easter 2015. Topic. Critical reception Topic. References in other media The success of the Carry On series occasionally led to affectionate parodies of the series by other contemporary comedians. In the Spitting Image book, released in 1985, there is a reference to a fictitious made-for-TV film entitled Carry On Up the Rectum, satirizing the transparency of the puns used for Carry On Up the Khyber and possibly Carry On Up the Jungle. Harry Enfield's mockumentary Norbert Smith, A Life, 1989, includes a clip from an imagined carry on film, Carry On Banging, a parody of the more risque approach of the later carry on films, such as Carry On Dick and Carry On Emmanuel. The setting is the Greenham Common Women's Peace Camp of the 1980s. Three genuine carry on actors appear in the spoof Barbara Windsor, Jack Douglas, and Kenneth Connor. That Mitchell and Webb look features the sketch, Body 1970s Hospital, which portrays a stereotypical carry on esque hospital with frequent use of double entendre, except by one doctor who has trouble fitting in as he comes out with simple obscenity unable to understand the distinction. A flash frame of the end shot of Carrie on Cowboy is used in series two of The Young Ones. In Tom Holt's eighth portable door novel When It's a Jar, 2013, the Carrion franchise offers a uniquely quirky blend of spatterfest zombie horror and traditional British slapstick and innuendo comedy, with titles such as Carrion Nursing, Carrion Camping and Carrion Up the Khyber. In the Goodies book The Making of the Goodies Disaster Movie, the trio visit the set of Carry on Christ in order to get advice from the Carry on team, while they are filming a scene relating to the feeding of the 5,000, with some of the cast noted as Kenneth Williams playing Pontius Pilate, Charles Hawtrey as a wise virgin, Barbara Windsor as not a wise virgin and Hattie Jacques as the 5,000. Topic. Home video The Carry On film series has had numerous individual releases on VHS, and a number of VHSs were released in an 18 VHS box set on 1 September 2003. The film series was first released as a DVD box set on 1 September 2008, by ITV Studios Home Entertainment. Five years later, 7 October 2013, it was re released with smaller packaging. All the movies contained in the collection are also available to buy individually. Since 2013, Studio Canal has begun to release a number of the Carry On films on Blu ray, starting with Carry On Screaming. The 21st of October 2013, Carry On Cleo, the 5th of May 2014, Carry On Cowboy, the 2nd of June 2014, and Carry On Jack, the 7th of July 2014.